We've just heard a noise upstairs and <clears throat> the ceiling's collapsed. Oh my God. There's literally a roof tile. There's literally a roof tile on my stuff. Oh my God. Oh my God, my new pillar, <coughs> my chair. What the, how has that happened? I don't know. I've just heard a rumble. So we've had someone come and look at the ceiling, the, um, the roof as well. The roof's fine. So that roof tile must have been kind of sitting in the ceiling because there's no hole in the roof or anything. That's fine. So we're going to have to have a whole new ceiling in here. Yes, yeah, so and I'm just going to have to clear all this up. Look at this. My microphone. All under there. Thankfully, my plugs and everything has been protected by the desk. And then this is the desk. That's my iPad. I hope that's going to be okay. I mean, they're just, there's just dust over everything. I mean, this, everything, all the pencils will have to come out. It'll be full of dust. And little washi tape dispensers. Oh my God. My new microphone. I'm sure that'll be fine. Then, even this, it's just everything's just coated in a layer of dust now. Like absolutely everything is going to need cleaned. There's just a layer of dust everywhere all my books yeah look at that of the ceiling is going to come down and need not like totally clean everything properly I'm just getting the thick of it up and then I'll just have to leave these drawers and the bookshelves in the room and I'll cover them in plastic while they repair the ceiling or put a new ceiling in 
depend they're gonna have a look and see what they need to do actually i mean if the full ceiling needs to come down then this coven is also going to be ruined which means i'll have to re-wool paper hope i hope they'll maybe just be able to just patch up that corner then i don't have to completely redo the whole room just bought this from m s salt and vinegar mayo i've never seen it before and it is absolutely delicious i used it as a dip for some crisps we had a roasted garlic one um a piri piri one and another one can't remember what the other one was but this is delicious and i'm going to make some tuna mayo and i'm wondering if i should put some in but it's a bit risky what if it isn't nice i don't know what to do usually do salad cream and mayo but i'll just add a little bit of this as well it's really vinegary Yeah, it's nice. I started a colouring in this book a while back and then I haven't touched it since. It was this one from this Forest Girl book and I'm using the Pablo's for that. And so while I'm colouring this, I'll pick a couple of Oracle cards out of these sets and I'll read these while I'm doing some colouring. So I'll do the Mushroom Spirit first and these are gorgeous little mushroom pictures this is the design on the back and then they're all what looks to be i think watercolor so i'll give them a shuffle pick one from the middle and it's Chaga Defense Balance number two. It's an edible and medicinal mushroom. It's known as the king of mushrooms and it's a superfood. And Chaga is the king when it comes to helping the body defend itself and ward off potential dangers to your health. 
where in your life could you have something or someone attached to you that is not serving your higher purpose or is creating a hindrance of some sort? Is it time to build your defences so strong that nothing can penetrate them? Are you physically strong enough or do you need to work on your physical health? Maybe you are allowing yourself to be taken advantage of or are being treated poorly. Sometimes when you feel you need protection, you actually need to strengthen your reserves. Using energy to block things and cast things away can be more tiring than building yourself up from the inside so nothing can stick to you. Another lesson from Chaga is one of balance. Disease exists when something in the body becomes unbalanced. Chaga brings balance to your immune system, blood sugar levels and circadian rhythms. Where are you out of spiritual alignment? It might be time to look at where something within you or your life is out of balance where can you create more flow and movement where have things become stuck when you balance yourself from within this balances your external world the work you do on the inside can create profound shifts if you are prepared to do the work when you create balance and cultivate strength from the inside you become an impenetrable force right so that's a good little bit of health advice and now the seasons of the witch how oh, beautifully these cards look at that look at the gold edging it's just gorgeous and the beautiful beautiful artwork right do a little shuffle boundaries so number three boundaries interesting i picked number two in the mushroom pack and this is number three boundaries are sewn into the parts of who you are for they are not to be crossed that's a strange sentence i don't think that really flows boundaries self-respect sewn into the parts of who you are for they are not to be crossed Self-love can be expressed in many different ways. Sometimes it needs to manifest in a spa day with girlfriends, getting up to exercise or sleeping in later than usual, while at other times it manifests in a need to set and enforce boundaries so that no one person completely drains you of your energy. No one is allowed or even needs to take all of you. No one has the right to demand all your time, energy or resources or any parts of who you are. It isn't selfish to want to keep some things for yourself, as doing so is a show of self-respect and an understanding that you cannot give what you don't have. Imagine trying to give more of your time when you don't have enough in the day to do what's already on your plate. Imagine spending more money when you're already in debt or giving more of your energy to make someone else happy when you've been depressed for a very long time. You have pulled boundaries because you are giving too much of yourself away without recharging your batteries. You are encouraged to say no more often or at the very least, not right now. Know that this is for the good of everyone in your personal orbit, that you will have so much more to give once you are in a proper place of balance. Additionally, make sure to follow through with any boundaries you've set as other people will push your limits to see how much you are willing to bend to their desires stay committed to yourself and stand your ground i've just been out for a beautiful meal with my sister my auntie and my mom and we had this beautiful lasagna that we get we've been going there for years it's literally the best lasagna ever there's nowhere makes lasagna like they do, and it's called the Washington Central in Workington. It's divine. It's just heaven. Isn't it? It's absolute heaven.
Really, look at that. Little rabbit in a little tennis Aww. outfit. Beyond cute. Look at that. Little rabbit in a little tennis outfit with a tennis ball. Oh, that's cute. Bye Mia, or in Ted. Bye. <laughs> See ya. So I've brought a lot of stuff through here. I'm gonna have to like set up my desk for recording like art stuff. I'm gonna have to set it up in here because my art room's completely out of action for the time being. So I've washed loads of things that, that were covered in dust, so I'm just gonna tidy all this up now, set this desk up. Yeah, I just need to clear all this out and then I'll need to do my orders. Okay, so that's my setup now. I've got the hood set up which attaches to the desk by a clamp and that'll um, shine light down onto the desk. And then this arm here, which is also clamped to the desk, is what I put my camera on when I'm doing like a top down filament of the desk. I'm gonna move all the stuff onto this desk to pack the orders. Because now that I've got the camera um, here and I'm going to be filming from the desk, I think it'll be a much better angle to film my order packing from above. With my light on, it's better lighting as well. Oh yeah, I'm pleased. I might just leave my pack and order station here now and then have the filament set up. Put my boxes there. And my envelopes here. Oh yeah, that's so much better. I've sent the new fragment sets um, to two really, really lovely people. Kay from Colouring with Kay and Lucy from Lucy Just Adds Colour have been so good to me in the past. They've showed my paints on their videos and got me loads of extra sales and I'm so grateful to them. So I've sent the fragment sets to them as well. So if you're not already subscribed or you haven't come across these two channels, it's Lucy Just Adds Colour and colouring with K, just the letter K, and they've just got brilliant, brilliant colouring channels, them two, they really have. Yeah, so if you want to see my paints in action by them, they're going to be featuring my new fragment sets in, in one of their videos um, in the future sometime, so check out their channels if you don't already know who they are. I'm sure most of you who are into colouring books, adult colouring books, will already know K and Lucy but if you've never watched their channels before, have a look, they're really good. And if you're watching Kate and Lucy, thank you so much for showing my paints. I still, today, even though it's a long time ago since I sent you either of you any paints, because I just send them out when I make new sets, but 
I still get orders today and people are writing little notes saying, oh, I saw them on Kay's channel, I saw them on Lucy's channel, they look really good. So, yeah, you, you've just got me loads of extra orders. So really pleased with the sales on the new sets. The new fragment set, I've sold two in the white tin and five people chose the silver tin. Um, so this is what I sold over the weekend after um, putting the video out with me demonstrating the paints. And I also sold an ocean set and a pastel set. And then these are the loose paints that are sold individuals. I just want to show my lighting setup for um, recording on the on the desk. So this is for Kay really because Kay was asking in her video if anybody knew any tips on what type of lighting to use. So I've got one of these hoods here and it it just like casts an even light over the desk and it's got one of those daylight bulbs inside. And then this this hood with the white fabric kind of diffuses the light and makes it not as harsh so the, the shadows aren't as dark. Um, but I will say, when you diffuse the light, when it comes to shiny paints, it's very difficult to show shiny and glittery paints on camera if the lights like diffused. It would actually work better with the hood off and I know you use a lot of glitter and shiny paints care. So yeah, it just picks it up better if the light is quite harsh. So 
if I'm filming my shiny paints, I tend to not, not use this. I'll switch the light off. And if there's a little bit of light kind of shining through from daylight from outside, that kind of helps the camera pick up the glittery bits. But for all other kind of desk work, it's much better with like a hood like this that diffuses the light. And another one that I have is this. So this one's got a daylight bulb and then it's got a little umbrella attached like this and that shines a lovely diffused light over the desk. The only problem with this one is the little tripod feet thing. It was on the desk and that just like really got on my nerves. It was just in the way all the time. This big one with the hood, it was also on a big tripod with a big footprint which we just got in the way. I found this arm here. So this I bought separately. I took I took the hood off this and then attached it to this arm here. And then this just clamps to the desk like that. Sometimes even if you've got great lighting on the desk, if your auto exposure on your camera's on, it alters the light. I don't know how much you know about that. So if you switch auto exposure off, if you find out how to do that and set your own auto exposure exposure level so that it doesn't move, doesn't change. Uh, I mean, maybe you already know about that, um, but I just thought I would mention that because if you didn't know about auto exposure and then you go and like invest in some really good lighting only to find that it goes dark anyhow because you're trying to film a white page on a colouring book. Um, yeah, you need to know about the auto exposure just to avoid that happening. Anyways, I hope that helps, Kay. I might have to take this small set of drawers in the hut, which is like the garden workshop. I'm going to, s I need to measure it to see if it'll fit underneath the desk. So it is 70 centimetres. Yeah, I really don't think it's going to fit under there because of this panel here. Oh, no chance. Absolutely no chance. That's where 70 centimetres is. And I can't even swap them because this one is about, about 66. And still no 66 miles too high. Oh, what am I going to do? I wonder if it would fit under here, under this desk. No, it won't even fit under that desk. Why is them drawers from Ikea so high that they won't fit under like standard size desks? I just haven't got anywhere else to put it. Just got a lovely Indian takeaway. So I've got beef Sri Lanka, egg fried rice and peshwari naan bread.
there's lots of little. Closed area of bushes. Insects, there was two bees, and there's like, can you see that? See the bees mm, going in? Yeah. And then there's someone else there. Not that is. Just doesn't it? The tree's silhouetted like that. Mm. Yeah. Going to put a little butterfly on that bench.
I've just been out for a lovely walk with my mum and we went to Longlands Lake and there's just some absolutely beautiful scenery and I thought I would do a bit of nature journaling. I bought this book a couple of years ago and it's an absolutely amazing book on how to nature journal and I did a couple of pictures and then I didn't do it again so I want to take it back up again so I'm just gonna have a little flick through this book to get some inspiration and then look at some of the footage that I've got on the walk and paint something from it do you know what I'm actually quite liking my desk set up here because I'm sitting here and I'm looking out of the window onto the garden whereas when I'm in my art room I'm facing a wall and it's just nice and silent in here and peaceful and I'm just thinking <laughs> I might actually end up just doing my artwork here I mean I might end up like staying in here for recording the art videos and just generally doing artwork at this desk it just feels you know what it just feels nice and it feels so much more comfortable I mean I could maybe just do it through the summer and then come the winter go back into the art room again yeah I think that's what I'm probably going to do so Kate and Lucy have both put their videos up I was telling you about that earlier and the videos have gone up already before I've even got this vlog out so Kate's went up yesterday and I watched that last night and it was absolutely brilliant and I've just got a message of a potential customer inquiring about the paints and she said that she's just saw it on Lucy's channel so I've just had a look and Lucy's put her video on as well so thank you so much Kate and Lucy I appreciate it so much so when I've done my artwork I'm gonna go and watch Lucy's video I'll link both videos in the description below if you want to go and watch them. So this is the nature journal and book that I was telling you about. The Law's Guide to Nature Drawing and Journaling. Oh, it's such a brilliant book. So look at this, just all these little doodles of different things and writing about the things that was seen. So it'll probably be loads of fun because it's just doodles. It's not like trying to create um, a masterpiece. It's just like little sketches of what you've seen and observed but it's a big book with tons of information. So I saw some of these out on my walk today so I might have a go at one of them ducks. Like the, it's, it's quite wordy as well there's a lot of stuff to read which I haven't read but just looking at all the images just gives loads of inspiration uh, I mean, look at them lovely pine cones. It's so nice. It's, it's such a variety of things that you can document. Like there's birds, there's insects, there's plants, there's leaves, flowers, buds, all different types of drawing, different types of drawing materials you can use. So I went on the walk before to Longlands Lake and I was thinking, oh, there's not really many flowers. I hope I can get something that I can draw. I ended up coming away with absolutely tons of footage. Um, the only thing that's really hard is actual wildlife. I mean, I got some ducks and there was one swan on the lake. But birds that just fly past before you even have time to get the camera out, you know. Ladybirds. Like, there's just all sorts of things. So, yeah, I did get quite a lot, considering I thought I might not find anything. So I've got some stuff out the house that I need for doing the journaling. All week I've been back and forward, back and forward, bringing stuff from the house to the hut um, because I just can't do any artwork in that room. I mean, the room's almost cleared now. So I brought some watercolours. I brought some dip pens because I'm going to do some metallic lettering with those. I brought all my little paint sets, the ones that I make, because I'm going to use some of those for the lettering for the lettering and possibly just some little embellishments i brought the tin with the watercolor brushes which is absolutely gorgeous look at that tin it's um beatrix potter tin or peter rabbit tin and i brought a couple of sketchbooks oh and this is a little this is the little nature journal that i started so that is the first one that i did cornflower and I used some, I used a dip pen to write cornflower in gold lettering. And then I did this, which was, I think, a blackberry. I'm, I'm sure it's a blackberry flower. 
and I never even got round to doing the gold lettering on that so I'm going to finish that and then I also did this of some alpacas one day and I did that on a video these are from videos in the past so I'm going to do something from today's walk how I've done cornflower in gold lettering there I'm also going to do on this page I'm pretty sure this is blackberry and if it isn't then it's just tough but I'm going to write the word blackberry should I do gold or should I do a different colour? I might do pink and then do a little bit of a, a black shadow I'll just add a little bit of water leave that to dissolve for a few minutes and I'll need to go and get my lettering book because I don't know what the lettering looks like I'll need to get the book so perfect example of what I've just been saying I've now got to go back in the house and get somewhere else so I've got some books on hand lettering I'm not sure if this is the one I feel like I've got another one a different hand lettering book oh my god I'm gonna to have to go in the house again because this isn't the one that I used for that writing and I think I would like to stick with the same type of writing all the way through the book oh, back in the house okay so i found it's this one lettering in the whimsical woodland by peggy dane i've got a few books by peggy dane brilliant books It's a bit of a mess. Never mind. I'll get better with practice. These are just heaven. Cola flavoured Sour Patch Kids. I really like these little buds. They're absolutely beautiful. I don't know what they are, but I might try and do a little sketch of those. And I've also got some other really exciting stuff for next week. I've subscribed to a new subscription box so hopefully that will start coming next week. It's a monthly subscription box and it's a gouache subscription box and it's by the artist Sarah Burns. She's got a amazing gouache channel, well gouache and watercolour. I remember buying her books, she had two books out and I bought them a couple of years back and her videos are brilliant and she started doing this gouache subscription box so i've cancelled the scroller box and i've subscribed to this one and i've also got a couple of books coming as well so i'll unbox them in next week's vlog and i'm really excited for those arriving so yeah that's something to look forward to for next week okay so that's as much as i'm going to do today because it's now saturday night and I need to finish editing this vlog so that it can go up tomorrow and it's 10 to 9 at night so I will finish this page in next week's vlog okay so I'll end the vlog here thanks so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed it and thank you to everybody who's bought one of my paint sets I'm absolutely delighted I've had lots of sales and I just really appreciate all the support so thank you very much and my next vlog will be up at 4pm UK time next Sunday.